Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we are going to discuss AVL tree deletion. What do you mean by AVL tree? AVL tree is nothing but it is a height balanced binary search tree. So here, the binary search tree condition also it has to satisfy and the balance factor also it has to satisfy. The balance factor in the sense, the difference between the left subtree and the right subtree, that is the number of children in the left subtree and the right subtree should differ by 0, plus 1 or minus 1. Then the tree is balanced, otherwise the tree is unbalanced. In AVL tree, suppose during insertion or deletion, if the tree is unbalanced in the sense, we need to apply a rotation to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one that is called AVL tree. There are four types of rotations, single left rotation, single right rotation, double left right rotation and double right left rotation. There are four types of rotation. Whichever rotation it is required, accordingly we need to apply and convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. Okay. Already we have discussed the insertions. There are three cases in AVL tree deletion. Already two cases we have discussed. Deletion with leaf node and deletion with one child. Now we are going to discuss deletion of a node with two child. Okay. So whatever may be the AVL tree, whenever you are deleting a leaf node or one child or two child, when the tree is unbalanced in the sense, we need to check the tree first. Whichever rotation it is required, accordingly you need to apply and convert it into a balanced one. Okay. So each case it will be unique only. So now we will discuss an example for deletion of a node with two child. Consider this is the AVL tree and here with the balance factor, here it is 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1, 0, minus 1. 3 minus 2 it is plus 1 and here it is 0 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, plus 1. Here it is number of left subtree element is 4 minus 3 it is plus 1. So this is a AVL tree. This is a binary search tree with balance factor. So it is a AVL tree. Now I am going to delete a node with 2 child. That is delete 68. If I am deleting a node with 2 child in the sense, there are two cases you can able to replace the node. One is in order producer. In order producer is nothing but the largest value in the left subtree. That is in the left subtree 50, 55 is there. So the largest element is 55 that we can able to replace in place of 68. When you are deleting a node 68, the largest element in the left subtree that is 55 we can able to replace here. That is called in order producer. Another case is in order successor. In order successor is nothing but the smallest element in the right subtree. So here right subtree only one element is there. If there are more elements in the sense, we can able to replace the smallest element in the right subtree in place of 68. So first I am replacing in order producer, the largest element in the left subtree. Largest element in the left subtree is 55. That I can replace instead of 68 and its left subtree element is 50. Right subtree is 80. It will be as it is. And the root element is 45 and its complete left subtree will be as it is. No changes only. We have not done any changes in the left subtree elements. So as it is, it will be there. Okay. Now you check the balance factor. Now I have deleted element 68. Instead of 68, I have replaced with in order producer. This is the first case. Okay. The largest element in the left subtree element I have replaced in place of 68. After deleting this node and implemented with in order producer, check the balance factor. So here it is 0, minus 1. Left subtree, we have not done any changes. Okay. So it will be as it is only. Left subtree, the balance factor is same only. Right subtree, if you are checking, here it is 0, 0, 0. Okay. Here also it is balanced. Left subtree, individually, if you are checking, it is completely balanced. Right subtree, individually, it is balanced. Now check the root node. Number of left subtree elements is 1, 2, 3, 4. Right subtree is 2. 4 minus 2, it is plus 2. So here it is unbalanced. So to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, we have to apply a rotation. What type of rotation here we need to apply? Here we have to apply a right rotation. This side, if you are rotating only, the tree will get a chance to ba get balanced. 
So, if you are applying a right rotation, see left tree element is unbalanced. If you are applying a single right rotation, you will get a tree like this. So, here you are applying single right rotation. If you are rotating towards right in the sense, 28 will become the root node and its right subtree as it is, that is 45 and then it is 55 and its left child is 50, right child is 80 will be as it is. Okay. And the left subtree of 28, that is 20, 15, 18 and 25 will be as it is. It is 20, 15, 18 and 25 will be as it is. Okay. And what happened to these two nodes, 30 and 35? When you are rotating towards right, the right subtree elements of 28, 28 is occupying the root node. So, the right subtree elements of 28 will be attached as a left subtree elements of 45. Now, 30 and 35 will occupy the left subtree of 45. Now, this is the new tree we will get it. Okay, check its balance factor. Here it is 0, minus 1, 0 and here it is 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. This is left subtree. Right subtree, see here, this is a right subtree. This is largest element, it should be attached as a right subtree, okay. 0, this is minus 1, 0, here also it is 0. 2 minus 2, here also it is 0. Here 3 minus 3, here also it is 0. See here, check the balance factor here. Everywhere it is satisfied. It is either 0, plus 1 or minus 1 only for every node. So, this is a ABL tree and this is the new tree you will get it. Here, in case if you are applying in order predecessor. Suppose, if you are choosing in order successor in the sense, what happens to this tree? Here, in order successor, you are replacing. So, in order successor is nothing but the smallest element in the right subtree. Right subtree here only one element. So, obviously this element will be replaced here. So, if you are replacing in the sense 45 will be the root node and 80 will occupy the position of 68 and 50 will become its left child, 55 will become its right child. It will be as it is. Okay, only difference is 80 will occupy instead of 68 and its left subtree elements everything at the same only. We have not done any changes here. Okay. And check the balance factor here. Left subtree balance factor no changes only. It will be as it is only. Okay. And right subtree if you are considering it is 0. This is minus 1 and this is plus 2. And root node 4 minus 3 plus 1. See here the tree gets unbalanced here. So to convert this unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one we have to apply a rotation. What type of rotation? Here. The left subtree of right child gets unbalanced. So, here we need to apply a yeah, left rotation first followed by a right rotation. Okay. So, here we need to apply LR rotation, double LR rotation. So, if you are applying in the sense, you will get a tree like this. The 55 will occupy the root node of this subtree and 50 will be the left child of 55. 80 will become its right child. Okay, and the root node and left subtree elements will be as it is, no changes. Now, check the balance factor for this tree. Obviously, it gets unbalanced, right? So, here the left subtree, it will be same only. The balance factor, it will be same only. Only the balance factor gets affected with the root node. So, the number of elements in the left subtree is 4, right is 2, 4 minus 2, here you will get it as plus 2. So, here you need to apply a rotation. What type of rotation? If you are applying a single right rotation like this, you will get an AVL tree, single right rotation. Okay. So, if you are rotating towards right in the sense, 28 will occupy the root node and its right subtree elements will be as it is. That is 45, 55 and its left subtree is 50 and right is 80. This will be as it is. And the left subtree elements of 28, this will be as it is. That is 20, 15, 18 and then it is 25 will be as it is. And what happens to these two nodes, that is 30 and 35 in the sense, when 28 is occupying the root node position, this will be attached as a left child of 45. The right subtree of 28 will occupy as the left subtree of 45. 
this is the new tree you will get it now check the balance factor here it is 0 here minus 1 0 2 minus 1 it is plus 1 and here if you are checking 0 it is minus 1 here here 0 0 and 0 2 minus 2 here it is 0 and this side it is 3 minus 3 here also you will get it as 0 now the tree is balanced this is a avl okay so whenever you are deleting a node with a two child in the sense there are two cases you can able to replace to that position one is in order predecessor that is the largest element in the left subtree you can able to replace or in order successor that is the smallest element in the right subtree you can able to replace okay largest element in the left subtree that is in order predecessor smallest element in the right subtree that is in order successor both the cases it is correct only any one case you can able to implement okay after deleting and replacing either in order successor or in order predecessor you need to check the balance factor everywhere if it is unbalanced you need to implement appropriate rotation to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one okay so this is all about deletion in avl tree all three cases we have discussed deleting with the leaf node no issues deleting with the leaf node after deleting that particular node just to check the balance factor and apply appropriate rotation if it is unbalanced and the second case is deleting with one child if it is one child in the sense directly the child will occupy that position no need to do any changes okay delete a node with one child and the child will occupy the parent position that's it then check the balance factor if it is unbalanced and convert it into a balanced one that is nothing but avl tree and deleting a node with two child only it is a complicated one in that case that deleted node will be replaced by either in order predecessor or in order successor in order predecessor in the sense the largest element in the left subtree will be replaced to that position otherwise in order successor in the sense the smallest element in the right subtree we can able to replace to that position okay so all three cases we have discussed with examples in the next session also we will discuss one more example for to implement a deletion with all three cases okay thank you for watching this video